Hey guys, it's Aisha G here and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, don't forget to click that subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss out on any more of my videos. And if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. So guys, today we're going to be reviewing the new Pattern Beauty Stylers. I went ahead and I picked up the Styling Cream and the Curl Gel. So I'm really excited to try these out for you guys. There has been so much talk around YouTube about Pattern Beauty not being for 4C hair texture specifically. <laughs> so I wanted to try it out you know what I'm saying I'm a 4c girl I already have the intensifying or intensive conditioner from pattern beauty and I love it but I also wanted to try the stylers I wanted to see if they can really bring to the table for 4c girls you know for types you know you know type 4 hairs you know all of that so today we're gonna go ahead and put pattern beauty to the true ultimate test okay so here is the styling cream i got the 15 ounce bottle and then here is the curl gel i went ahead and i picked up the three ounce bottle because these are pretty expensive this one was 25 and this also the one that the bigger size the 15 ounce is also 25 dollars and I ain't got that type of money, okay? So I picked up the little small baby bottle, the three ounce, just to see if I like it. But for this styling cream, I needed to pick up the 15 ounce because I just have a feeling I'm gonna like it. Like that's how much hope I have into this. Like I have that much hope, guys. But if it doesn't work, I can just give it away. But like I said, clean slate for pattern beauty, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm not, I haven't seen any reviews on the styling cream. I've seen so far a ton on the curl gel, but not the styling cream for some reason. So I'm just, you know, keeping an open mind. All right, so let's hop right into this. So my hair is already done now. I've already used the styling cream and also the curl gel on my hair. This is the style I went ahead and I did Bantu knots. Um, they're drying right now. So later on in this video, I'll show you guys how my style actually came out. But I just wanna walk you through everything that I did. So first I started off with freshly washed hair. I did also use the intensive conditioner from Pattern Beauty to deep condition my hair. So I went ahead and I did that. And to style my hair, I do the LCO method, which is the leave-in conditioner, the cream, and then the oil. I like to do this because the oil just seals everything in for me. So that just works better for me whatever method you do however you know it's fine girl but that's just what i like to do now for the ingredients in the style cream i really like that they really just stayed away from silicones i personally don't have too much of a problem with silicone but that is something that a lot of people complain about so for this launch for their stylers they completely took out silicones which is a plus. Now the first ingredient is still water. Um, I also noticed that they do have glycerin in here. Um, I'm not too sure how I feel about that yet. And a lot of other really good stuff. I know wheat protein is also in here, but it's the very last ingredient. So it's probably like a little dab of, of wheat protein, but I mean, that's good as well. I'm gonna leave the full list of the ingredients in the description box. You guys can completely see that as well. Another thing I noticed is that I really like that the bottle is not really heavy and that it has this kind of suede material on the kind of the, the packaging of the bottle itself. Um, as I'm moving my hands right now, like just touching this though, it's the words in the back are smudging. I don't know if you guys can see that, but literally that black mark, that black mark that you're seeing right there, that's actually the list of ingredients in the back. So it's weird that that's happening. So pattern, I'm need for y'all to, you know, fix your your packaging a little bit because that's that's not that's not good. I don't want all that stuff on my hands. So also for the curl gel, same type of material. I'm not really getting too much of the the black um smudges on this one at all for the curl gel it's also silicone free as well guys which is also again a really good thing that they eliminated that um it says that this is great for wash and goes 
Um, it's also good for a defined, bouncy, and juicy curls. So basically, that's what I'm going for. Um, in all of my styles it's the summertime and i need a gel to just hold in my style because if i'm just using cream all the time my hair gets frizzy and i know that's a really big thing for 4c or just type 4 hair types in general hopefully this curl gel can eliminate the frizz and just hold our style for a few longer you know days during them hot summer months okay so as i was pulling the styling cream in my hair i noticed that it smells just like the intensive conditioner so it, it just kind of looks like to me right now that they're kind of formulating everything not only the same but they also want all their products to smell the same i'm not too crazy about the smell but i mean hey if it works it works and also the texture for this, as I was putting the style cream onto my hair, the texture is really thick, you guys. Like, this is like some thick, expensive type of cream, okay? It just makes you feel so luxurious. Um, it definitely made me feel that way as I was placing it onto my hair. Uh, it also made my hair feel a tad a tad bit heavy so just watch how much of the styling cream you do put on because I was definitely noticing that it was gliding through my hair I had no problems with even detangling my hair with this but it just really the more I put on the more like heavy my hair felt and got other than that I really experienced no issues as I was applying the styling cream, which is pretty good. Um, but it definitely felt sticky in my hands as I was applying it. So I, I felt that was a bit weird. I'm not quite sure how my hair is going to turn out or how it's going to kind of react with the curl gel. So we'll see about that. But that is something I definitely noticed about the styling cream. It does feel sticky in your hands. Now, after I applied the styling cream, I went ahead and went in with the curl gel. Now the curl gel is completely different from the styling cream in as far as texture and like how heavy it is. So the curl gel felt more light but also sticky, okay? And it kind of reminded me of a cream as far as its color, so it didn't really look like a, a traditional gel that maybe that's like a clear type of um, gel. It was more like, it's more like a cloudy white color. It feels like you can put as much as you want on it, but it is sticky. Like I was feeling it on my hands, and it felt really sticky. So maybe that's because of some certain ingredients that's in there, I'm not quite sure. Applying it on top of the styling cream, no problems at all. No problems at all. I was really pleased with how it was applying. It wasn't leaving a white residue on my hair, which I really appreciate. <laughs> Um, hopefully it doesn't dry with flakes or anything like that. I wasn't really paying attention too much as far as how much curl gel I was putting onto my hair, but I was, you know, conscious of it, especially after I put a whole bunch of styling cream on my hair, so I didn't want to overdo it too much. So now that I've styled my hair completely with the styling cream and the curl gel, now all that's left is to show you guys my results. So I'm gonna go ahead and allow my hair to dry for about like two days and then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna show you guys my results, which is what we all really wanna see. We wanna see how my hair looks, how my hair feels, and all of that. What I'm looking for though is my curls to be defined, okay? And for the curl gel to do what it's supposed to do and you know, and, and hold on to my style. So we're gonna see what the results is going to be. I'm kinda nervous, but I really, really do have hope for Tracy, girl. I really hope that you just did something for our 4C hair, you know what I'm saying? So, all right guys, so it's gonna be a few days for me, but it's gonna be like two seconds for y'all. All right guys, so it is two days later. Um, My hair feels like it's dry. I did go ahead and Put the blow dryer on a few of the knots but i'm pretty i'm pretty sure it's dry now hopefully hopefully so i'm just gonna put some oil on my hand really quickly 
so I can try and eliminate frizz. Let's see, I'm so, I'm so excited. Actually, before I do it, take a moment, you guys, and leave the cross fingers emoji in the comment section, okay? Just so I know you guys got me, okay? You guys got me, we are in this together, okay? All right, let's see. I'm probably just going to speed up, um, ooh. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Oh man, this one is a little bit wet. This one's a little bit wet. It's okay though. It's still curly though. Still curly. It's all right. I'm liking it so far. I'm liking how my hair, it looks like it's curled up like I want it to. So that's really good. Okay, you guys, not even, I'm not, I'm not joking, but my hair, do you see the bounce? The bounce though? What? Like, what? What? Mm-mm, pattern, hold on, hold on, hold on. So let me just read this one more time, okay? Looking like a jar thick of buttercream, our styling cream provides superior moisture, penetration, and the ideal oil rich touchable hold when setting twist outs, braid outs, bantu knots, and more. Okay, okay, okay. I definitely feel that. And then also for the curl gel, um, great for curls, coils, and tight textures when your curls want to bounce and be free. <laughs> Honey, this is what's got my hair bouncy. This is what, look at this. Okay, y'all, look, look. I'm done fluffing out my hair. I'm done fluffing out my hair and I'm just honestly very speechless and excited, like, what? So, you can clearly tell that my hair is extremely bouncy. I feel like I have so much body, like, like, look. I'm so excited, like, like this is the result that I was hoping and praying for literally i have yet to see like how long my hair is gonna hold up but judging um from my results i really think that i'm gonna have no problems with having this style in my hair for like another for like four or five days and that is perfect like my hair doesn't feel crunchy the gel didn't leave any type of white residue on my hair at all no like firmness like no wear anything like my hands don't even feel like it doesn't even have like gel or like residue or anything on my hands from fluffing out my hair so yes, yes. okay pattern i see you i see it let's go ahead and do a close-up real quick You guys at this point I just I mean the proof is here the proof is here okay one thing I would say is that my hair my curls aren't as super defined as I want them to be um, my hair is looks and feels more fluffy more than anything and I have so much body like it's crazy and I think that's because my hair wasn't like 100% dry it's probably like mm, like 85% dry maybe 70 so it wasn't all the way dry which I'm not necessarily mad at it just really just makes me want to use the styler and the curl gel on another style maybe not bantu knots because it takes too long to dry I probably do like a flat twist out something like that or maybe even like a perm rod set just to see you know how to find my curls 
really are when my hair is 100% dry. This is still really good for Bantu knots. I am 100% pleased. Tracy didn't disappoint me. She didn't disappoint this 4C girl, okay? All right guys, so that is it. That's all I have to say. Make sure you guys leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of my results. Have you tried the styler cream or the curl gel? Do you wanna try it? Like, just let me know. Let's have a whole conversation because girl. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Go ahead and click the like button if you haven't yet and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on another video. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.